What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Heavenly Delusion, episode 12. I'm going to try to go quick today because I want to be able to get these two, I'm going to have to push Yamada to tomorrow. These uh, two meaning Heavenly and Hell, Hell's Paradise and Heavenly Delusion up before I have to leave. I'm going to a comedy club tonight. So anyway, um... Quick, 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 quick recap from God we talked about a lot last time, but I, I do feel like it is necessary that we are all on the same page um, before we go into the reaction. So, the kids are the man-eaters in the process of trying to create human beings free of disease because this bitch old lady wants to be immortal. She ended up creating the ultimate disease or creatures with the ultimate disease. Um, and there was, I guess, no cure. Is or wasn't. I don't know. We'll see. But there will be a cure in the future. I don't know. I think that most likely they're just going to all have to be killed off. Anyway, Tokyo had two children. No, one child. They cloned it, is my understanding. Um, maybe so that old lady can be put into the clone's body. Maybe if they can age up the clone faster. Maybe. I don't know. because that. And that's why they said Maru needs to find someone who looks exactly like him at the school because he was cloned. So, then... Um, you get snippets, um, the girl who was, like, showing Mimihime, uh, her worst fears, um, being cut up, sliced up, okay, I'm on the same page as you guys now, I agree that the person we saw being, she was chopped up, and she, her, her and her lover killed, well, she was killed, and he killed himself, that's bowl cut, and that's Mimihime. Uh, it threw me off because he didn't have white hair. And if you're born with white hair, why wouldn't you have white hair when you're older? Your hair turns white. So, doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Anyway, I have OCD for colors, and so when they're not the same, it just pisses me off and throws me off. It's like, no, you're not, no, that's not correct. That's not correct. Nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so, that's why I didn't think it was them. Um, because, literally solely because his eye color and his hair color are not accurate. But anyway, um... And then there's also that man-eater in the basement that made Kiriko see her worst fear being cut up. Blah, blah, blah. That's the little girl who has an attachment clearly to Mimihime. They established that. So um, there's that. Uh, the man-eater who... The fish is the girl who climbed up the wall and into the vent and like showed Tokyo the babies. Because remember, Kona gave her the drawing of the fish with the arms. And that's the man-eater she was going to turn into. Um, also, there was an embryo that Kona drew, which I think might be right behind this girl's head. Um, so she's in Tokyo's room. Oh, that is Tokyo. Duh! Sorry, I forgot her hair grew out. Um, two babies in the same, uh, I don't know, embryo, egg, whatever. But they... Embryo, not egg. Uh, so... The, mm, I, I don't know Cl twins they make you it would make you think twins but I think at, in actuality it's you know twins their DNA is very similar but it's not actually completely the same even if they're identical twins um but still clone similar or well a clone would be the exact same DNA but you get what I'm saying it, it foreshadowing that um what else happened? Oh, and then the doc there was a doctor who switch like was able to tr do brain transplant. The old lady wanted her brain transplanted, so you know the doctor who transplanted the brains. It's confirmed that he was from the school. Is it the same guy who was nursing the kids? Mm, maybe. I don't know. He seems to have a soft spot for children because he's or at least babies children. Eh, probably children because he was nursing Maru. He seems to care about him and I think he's gonna help escape with him. Um. But, which maybe that's why he's he's helping the kids, but there's also a scar on his head. So maybe during this this test, when shit goes down and it sounds like the kids were turning into man-eaters, you heard the squelching. Yeah, I think that was kids turning. Now, I don't know if the mom had something to do with them turning, because what the fuck is this quiz about? Also, Hiroko, Hiroko is the name of man-eaters, and they call themselves... She called them Hiroko, and then the kids are like, oh my god, I resonate with that. Why did that seem so familiar to me? Like, like I've, like I for, like I've known it for a long time, but I forgot it. Like, I heard it before or something. I don't know. That's what you are. You're a Hiroko. Now, why would 
she identify why did she pick the word Hiroko? Does Hiroko actually translate into man eater? What does it mean? There was the god in um uh, summer render named Hiroko, but I forgot why her name was Hiroko. I don't remember if that has any relevance. I think someone talked about it in the comments last week. But anyway, like does it mean man eater? Why did you pick that name? And why and is Maru calling them man eaters just be um the man eaters Hiroko just because like that's actually like that like mm, it's kind of like you know a chicken's a chicken a horse is a horse you know you're a hiroko whatever the fuck a hiroko is like that's your species i guess it doesn't necessarily mean man eater maybe it's just like their species cuz they're not human they're made they're like man they're made in the lab you know so um they're not natural you know so i don't know i don't know what the fuck hiroko actually means you know, it's, it's like, you people can call the same thing different things. You know what I mean? Like, maybe to this, this is white to me, and maybe to you, if you're colorblind, this looks whatever fucking color. I mean, that's a bad example, but you know what I mean. So, like, to him, Hiroko means man-eater, but maybe to her, Hiroko means something else. Maybe that's not what it actually means. But, I'm just saying. Um, what the fuck else did we talk about? Uh, we haven't seen Kona's man-eater yet. We don't ask, so we don't know what's going to happen to him. We know he's going to turn into a man-eater, obviously, but we don't know why. If he's alive, dead, and don't know what happens to Tokyo. There's fire in a forest, so it seems like this is going to be a big, in this picture here, it seems like some shit's about to go down, bro. I'm telling you, I think a lot of these kids are going to turn into man-eaters and kill a lot of the other kids, and then hopefully kill the old lady, but I don't think so. I think they really set that up where, like, she probably did have her brain transplanted into that baby when it grew up. Because her plan was to transplant her brain into that one lady who she picked as her director. Oh, you wanted to become the director, right? Mm. Yeah, nice. Okay, plan words. I see what you did there. You twisted things. Mm, but what the fuck? Did she actually do that? It doesn't seem like he, that other doctor who he, she was talking to and telling her fucking master plan to, he was like, oh, what the fuck? No, I'm not down with that shit. The one who's nursing Maru. Doesn't seem like he told the bitch that the old lady planned on essentially killing her. So, what the fuck? She could. She could have taken her and transplanted her, had a doctor transplant her brain. Because I just, it, just because she told him about the plan doesn't mean that he was the one that was going to switch the brains. Could it mean that he? Maybe. But she didn't say, oh yeah, you're going to. She said, oh, I'm going to do brain transplant surgery. You know, so it's like, well, I don't know if he's capable of doing it, or maybe he is, but it doesn't seem like you planned on having him do it, or else I feel like she would have explicitly said you. Unless I'm not remembering things correctly, but I'm pretty sure the bitch did not say, you are going to. He's like, no, I'm not going to let you do that. And she's like, who the fuck are you? You're not going to let me. What? She's like, bitch, please. Ethics? That shit went out the window years ago. Nobody gives a fuck. So what's the history there? What do you mean nobody cares? Because in the world we live in, that shit would not fly. So what is she talking about? What happened even before the school was established? You know what I mean? Who shot Haruki? Who shot Haruki's sister in the fucking head, too? What the fuck's up with that? Which man eater is one who ate him? And I really want to know who shot her in the head. Why? Why is Robin there? Does he really want to do good? What's there to find there? Uh, probably a way to kill all the man eaters? And maybe the way to do that is to find their origin. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. And then also, freaking Asura with the wings. There's a whale flying in the fucking sky. I don't know. Shit. I don't know if that has shit to do with her, but why is there a whale flying in the sky and it seems like over a, a forest on fire? Is Asura going to come make an appearance as a whale? I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Mm. Oh my god, what did you walk out into? What's going on? I'm gonna help you escape. Oh my god, you let these fucking monsters out into the real world. What is wrong with you? Knowing, knowing they were gonna turn into monsters. This robot's fucking evil. That's what I think. Now I'm starting to think she's evil as shit. I thought the doctor was evil, but... She obviously didn't want to unleash monsters out into the world. She just wanted to be free. 
She has to know that they're turning into fucking monsters. There's no way this robot doesn't fucking know. Do we? You wanna go outside? You're, oh, oh, you're overdoing it, bitch, and you look sketchy. You seem sketchy. Red flags, death flags all over the place. I don't trust this bitch. I don't trust this fucking robot. Hell no. Hell no. Oh my god, this robot has to die. Oh, fuck! Why did her hair look like that? Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. July 26th. You had it cut yesterday. It says... What the fuck? I'm pretty sure the bitch said. Today is Friday, July 26th. I had it cut yesterday. It's the same fucking day, though. She's claiming. Uh-oh. She's fucking with them? Or, like, some sort of illusion is going on? There's a, there's some mind fuckery going on here, and I'm not for it. Oh, right, I had it cut yesterday. No, you didn't, bitch. What the fuck? Oh? Was that a dream? What is happening? Uh, was that really a dream? And why Why do you want to keep cutting your hair short? I don't know. Is there something up with that? Not that she ha I'm not saying she has to have it shorter or has to have it long, but... <gasps> what are you doing, Mina? Danger. Oh my god, what is gonna happen? Oh my god, there's, this is going to be a fucking bloodbath. I d dude, if I have to see one of these kids turn into a monster, that's going to be so fucking sad. Oh my god. Bro, Doc, you have to... These kids are all saying danger, danger, danger. And they're supposed to be soldiers, it seems like. Combatants, she said, so... Maybe they're, like, programmed to recognize danger. I don't know how they're picking up on that, but that's fucking awesome. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody break through the ceiling and get the fuck out. How do Mimi Hime and Bull cut it out safely? <laughs> this robot, bro, what the fuck? She's evil. <gasps> oh. These kids dipped. They knew that something was about to fall on them. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't. This episode, bro, I'm not fucking ready for this. God, he just looks like his mom. Oh. I don't know, there's gonna be some significance to the symbols on those. The, those the, the chips, you know they're gonna have significance. Why are you asking me, bitch? I want to know what the fuck you know. They are in contact with him? The chief? Robin, come on. Oh my god, is he gonna- he's gonna believe her. I'm guessing, assuming he's seen a lot at that school. He's gotta believe her. Him. God fucking damn it, sorry. Him. The school large filtration plant. Mm-hmm. Don't fucking- are you serious? Fuck! What's that? <sighs> uh, I need to memorize what's on that. There's never anything that's not significant in this show, bro. 1022? Is that what it said? Don't give me a bullshit episode, please! I just want to see them meet again! 
How is that weird? I do that shit all the time. Oh. Yeah, he needs to go. That's stupid. You need to go with. <laughs> That's dumb. I don't. You're not safe alone. I, I'm. I'm happy that he's finally gonna get to, you know, reunite with Robin. But is he gonna believe him? Is the question. I don't know. Do you see him? Scream his name. <laughs> what the hell is that reaction? Uh, oh, I don't like that. He looked scared. Oh my god, he's the doctor who did the brain transplant! He's got a cut on his forehead! <gasps> on his head! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> you really did! Oh my god, you guys were right! Uh... Holy shit. Excuse me, what? Attack on Takahara, it's like they were waiting for me to return. Oh, were you- Oh, she did, she left to have that meeting with all the rest of the- Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Actually, I didn't know she left to have that meeting. But I guess, she's saying she did. Wow. Tomatoes smashed. Damn! She wants to kill this bitch. Oh, he protected her! Shiro. Shiro. That's his name? Those two are holding hands. What the fuck's going on there? Also, remember, the freaking spider is one of these kids, clearly. I wonder which one. Oh. Where's Tokyo? ちょっと気になる方があるから調べてくれ。壁だろ。お。壁に穴が開いてる。みんな気づいてたの。一緒に行こう。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん
the dark, and then she holds someone's hand, right? And it leads her out back into the light. Mmm, I wonder whose hand she held. Afraid you'd never find him? Aww. You promised you'd go back to him. Don't forget about him. Oh my god, what? she didn't take it? Oh, that's not, already I feel like that's not a good sign. Please, please go. Go to her. Him. Go to him. Dual wielding. You really shouldn't do that though. That's how you get like a power outage anyway. What? What the fuck? I don't like that. That's weird. What the hell, Robin? Getting bad vibes from him, bro. He seemed all scared when he saw him. Bitch. Oh, I don't even like the look on your motherfucking face. Oh my god. <gasps> what the? <laughs> he shot him. He shot her, his sister in the head. You shot her sister in the head. <gasps> Who the fuck is this guy? What does he want? <gasps> Do not tell me that's the old lady. It's... I thought she fucking died. Yeah, the doctor could do that. How the fuck would you know he could do that? Motherfucker. If that old lady survived, bro. And who would perform the surgery for her, though? But why would you be so interested in someone who had a brain transplant? <gasps> the outside of the outside. Maybe it is a good thing you didn't go. Maru. Oh, like I want it I want him to go, but I at the same time I'm like Is it is it a good thing you didn't? Uh, I don't want them to get their hands on you. Oh <gasps> what the fuck? Stop trying to fuck with him. He's right. He's not crazy. No, you are right. That is you, Haruki. Sick motherfucker. Maru, please! Oh my god, I can't. Fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you? What? What the fuck? Watch what I'm gonna do to your sister. What kind of sick fucking kink do you have? Watch me rape her. <laughs> this person he idolized. What the fuck?
What the fuck? I feel so fucking bad for him. Not only is it bad that he's being raped, right? He's being raped by someone he looked up to, to someone he looked for for years. This person he treasured is hurting him in the most despicable way. And he's like, he's like fucking with his head. Oh, are you really Haruki? Whose body are you in? Who do you see in the mirror? She's trying to get him to like doubt who he is, but then at the same time, like, oh, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing to your sister. Aren't you gonna stop me? Your sister's about to be held by another man. Look what I'm doing to your sister. What the fuck? Do you get off on that shit? You get off on that. Raping someone and making them what he's so fucking sick in the head like making them feel powerless like oh look what i'm doing to your sister you can't even help her i'm gonna rape her and you're gonna do nothing about it oh my god well you fuck first of all you have him handcuffed oh my god the powerlessness <sighs> i feel so bad for him Oh my god. I want to destroy him. I did not see that coming. I thought, oh, oh I'm conducting an experiment. It's not the old lady. He's just a sick bastard. <laughs> that bitch pretending to be fucking handicapped. <laughs> There's another way to, like, wield or, like, lord her power over another. Just... To make herself feel powerful. Oh yeah, you have to push me around. You like make making them her little fucking bitch. Oh my god. Just the fucking games people play. Like just the the mind games they play with people. I I'm, I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about this. He's fucking vile. He's so vile. Like he just kept making the situation worse and worse and even more traumatizing for him. Oh my, like every single word out of his mouth just made it worse and worse and worse. And Maru, respecting his wishes, didn't come. Oh my god. Is he even gonna let him go? Is Robin gonna let Haruki go? Or are you just gonna keep him chained there and keep him your, as your sex slave? What the fuck? He created this whole town. He's so great. Never meet your heroes, kids. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so mad. Um. And they got outside. So maybe the mobs, the ro robot's not evil. She broke a hole in the wall and let them get out. I thought something, she was going to do something else, but she locked all of the people at the school out so the kids could escape um but then you still you did hear squelching though and so i'm wondering if the kids in the pool having swim class like is that the, the squelching sounds we heard they were in the pool or was it like you know maybe did she isolate the kids you know the ones who had sw swim class maybe she isolated them to one room so that like maybe maybe she knew they were gonna turn i don't know how she would know that but maybe she knew they would turn and she wanted to keep them away from the rest of the children i don't know but he's but they told them oh go go to the pool mm, i don't know himihime and bow cut are fine and they're out of the school they're outside so i feel like anyone who's not with them is just like they're gonna die or something. I don't know. I'm not my and fuck. Uh, now I'm starting to think that that breeding facility had nothing to do with this school because it happened way afterward. I think. I could be wrong, but I I think so. Because the kids would be way too, um, way way too young. I would think. The timeline, it just wouldn't match up.
so um like if that happened like way like you know before the school came down it was i don't know it just doesn't make sense to me but maybe i'm wrong maybe, maybe i'm wrong maybe the time i'm trying to think like if that took place while the school was going on like while they were they needed dna or like but they why would that doesn't have, i don't think it has shit to do with the school because they don't need humans to procreate they can just create them in a lab so it doesn't if it's fucking robot of having babies why would they need breeders that doesn't make sense they wouldn't need someone to make babies so the doctor escaped maybe that's why like robin couldn't find it maybe the doctor figured out that robin was a terrible fucking person how many of those kids did he rape i wonder did he rape his sister before any of this happened like i don't know i'm just wondering like because why did you seem like why did you why were you so haunted when you saw her because you thought you shot her in the head and you thought you killed her but here she is alive or yeah right because that's why it would make sense that like his brain is in her body because she was shot through the head but her body was preserved right why did you kill her why like why would you kill her because that's the only way i could see him being like scared that like you you would be overjoyed oh my god you you're here you're like if he had no idea what had happened he knew what happened that's the only reason you would make that face is if you killed her yourself you thought but you did but her brother's in her body why would you kill her why would you want to kill her? That's what I don't get. This person you idolized on top of raping you and saying it's your sister and that you can't do anything to protect her. You're going to watch me rape your sister. Telling you that, also on top of that, telling you that you're, you're delusional, you're crazy, right? And on top of that, He's the one who shot your sister in the fucking head in the first place? If that turned out to be true, bro. Why? Like, I really, I, this is the thing. I don't want them throwing a rape scene in here just for, just because they just want to like horrify their audience. Like this scene, I, I hope it has something to do with the story moving forward. Like it's not just some, oh, the person you were looking for was a monster sucks. Like, I need him to have some sort of, like, some sort of, like, he needs to tie into the, to the, the school and the kids and the monsters and the, somehow, he needs to. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like th this is just kind of shoehorned in, like, just to get a reaction out of your audience. I don't know. I don't know. You know, like, I don't know. Is that just me that would feel like that? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I got to shut the fuck up because... I have to record Hell's Paradise. And I knew I want to be able to edit both of these and get these up on YouTube before I leave. So anyway, okay. If I missed anything, let me know. Um, if I misunderstood anything, we'll talk about it in the comments for sure. But yeah, anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below. So please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.